This latest update of Slurp Shaker actually brings a neat little feature that I've been wanting to do for quite a while and didn't really know the best way to approach it, but after talking with some users, they kind of gave me some ideas of what would be the best way to do this, and that is actually the ability to use the keywords that are available, the next keyword or the previous keyword uh, that's available in your short codes. And so basically it allows you, whenever you're building a page, you can actually reference the next keyword or the previous keyword uh, to use it to interlink your pages. So if you want to you know, link to the next post and actually have the uh, link itself be using the keywords uh, that are relevant to that post. It also allows you to kind of create a loop type setup for your post so that when you're linking or using a particular short code list, you kind of keep all the interlinking without that loop. And so I'll explain a little bit about that in, in just a second. But basically the way that it will work is I've got a short code here. I just have it called keywords. So just basic, you know, everything's uh, lowercase here. I'm just a bunch of different keywords. And then on the shaker page, I'm going to be using that keywords short code, but I want to show there's certain things that I'm using in here that I think most people don't even know are available. Um, for example, if I come up to the top here and I've got, I've got keywords, but I've got underscore and word. And so if you actually look down here, I've got this short code modifiers. This has been in there for quite a while now, but these are the different modifiers that you're able to use. You've got underscore upper, underscore lower, underscore word, and underscore URL. And it kind of gives you an example if we were using Los Angeles. Upper, which is basically capitalize everything. Lower, lowercase everything. Word, it basically gives you title case, uh, what's called title case. And so the first letter of every word is capitalized. And then URL is if you're going to be using it um, to kind of link to something then automatically runs it through the WordPress um, setup that they've got to how they basically create the slugs. And so it basically gives you what, a, what the URL should be. And so I've taken advantage of that by, you know, my shortcode list was all lowercase, but I went ahead and used words because this is what I wanted to use for the title. So it gave me kind of title casing. And then um, now showcasing the new feature is next. Now we can do underscore next, which basically is the next keyword available on this list. So if we go back to the short codes and we go to keywords. So if I'm building a page or a shaker page and the first keyword that it uses is this one at the top here, then next would be this one. And if I'm right here, then obviously next will be the next one down, previous will be the one over here. Oh, well, now one thing that I did, um, which like I said, this was an idea I grabbed from one of the users, was basically, if you're over here at the very top and it does previous, well, there's really no previous one, but it kind of, what I ended up doing was I basically um, offset the list in a way that previous actually links all the way down to the bottom and then um, you know next will work the same thing but then over here once you get to the end here you obviously have a previous but you don't have a next so next would actually link all the way to the top so that's why I said um, it will kind of create that loop and so and the same thing you know with the keywords whether you're using them for linking or not it, that's how the next and the previous functionality would work Next would be going to the next keyword, previous to the previous keyword. If it's the very first keyword, previous would show up the very, uh, if it's the very first keyword, previous would be the short code or the keyword at the very end of the list and so on and so on. So now when you're using this in Whenever you're using this within Search Shaker, a couple of things that you can do is if you want to use it for interlinking, you can go ahead and basically create your link code the regular way that you normally would insert a link. 
you know, you would have your the URL of your website, and you would just go ahead and over here where you're going to have the URL, you can do keywords next and just tell it to do the URL casing for it. Now, a couple of things you want to keep in mind when you're doing this, and you may have to, you know, kind of set it up and test it a few different times to do a test run with like three or four posts to make sure you've got it set up correctly is if you're using categories and the categories are in your URL, you're going to have to include that in there. Otherwise, this is going to be a broken link. Um, if you've got, you know, if you've got an enough subdomain or anything, you know, you're, you're just going to have to play around with this part. Uh, but once you do have the format working, it is going to properly link to the next post and to the previous post, depending on how you have it set up. So if you're just if you want to use it in a URL format, just make sure you use the the you know short code underscore next, which would send, indicates to use the next keyword, and then also use the URL formatting so it does that for you automatically. Um, over here, you could do keywords next as the you know so it's going to use the actual keyword as the it's the text that's going to be hyperlinked, and you can even do underscore word so it does the capitalization for you and same thing over here for previous you know it's got the the previous url and then we can say underscore word if we want to not worry about whether our list is actually capitalized correctly or not and so when you do that you know i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to save that draft to make sure those changes take into effect i'm just going to build out 10 but i want to kind of show you what that ends up looking like when we look at the actual post and so we've got this text here notice that my short codes were all lowercase but when i used that underscore word i went ahead and capitalized that together and so i if you you know we looked at the shaker page it said this is a page about and then it had keyword and so this is the actual keyword that goes with this page now the next one, it automatically showed us what that next keyword should be. And this is if we were linking to it. And if you notice, the I used the word casing, so it can go ahead and capitalize that for me. And when I click on it, it should go to that, what is the best time? And, oh, actually, I got a 404 error because I actually used HTTP website.com just in the example. So I didn't actually use the URL for this website here that I'm using for testing. Um, so I just did, you know, HTTP website. So that's why I said that first part, if we go back to the shaker page, needs to be what your actual website is. So when you're filling this out, you know, this I just did this for sake of the example here but you actually need to put in your actual URL here make sure you've got the correct leading slash um, and that but that's why it's crucial you know before you do a full run of like a thousand pages or anything just do a couple of them to kind of test that out and that will uh, you know let you kind of get your linking and your use of the keywords in the best way possible now the other thing that's available in this update um, once again was um, something that was suggested by a, a user is we've now got this ability to use this shortcode wizard and this is useful for those of you that are using huge list of keywords and you want to split up the shortcodes i know that there are um, some people that the way that they're using it now is they they take you know thousands and thousands of keywords and they will create um, lists that are like keyword one, keyword two, keyword three, um, which you know can be pretty time consuming to individually paste those in. And this wizard allows you to basically um, make it to where you can paste their whole list in here. It can be you know fifty thousand keywords, however many you want how many keywords you want to use per short code. So if you, you know, in your setup, you say, I, I only want a thousand per run that I'm doing. And then the short code name prefix would basically be what you want those short codes called. And then it's gonna go ahead and create, you take your whole list, split it out based on the number you told it to. And it would just add, you know, 
increment numbers to that prefix. Let me show you that and how that would work. So for the sake of the example here, let's just say I want 100, keyword or 100 keywords per uh, short code. Um, just found a bunch of Fortnite short codes. So I'm going to go ahead and name it Fortnite. And I'm going to paste in, I think there's about 500 or so, so we should end up at about five different ones. Now you also have the ability to change that casing to title case if you want, um, or you can leave it all lowercase and then use the example of underscored ward like I, like I showed uh, earlier. But let's go ahead and run the wizard. So we've got big list, Fortnite, and we want 100 of them. So if we go ahead and run that, now we'll see we've got the different short codes created here. One, two, three, four, five. Um, and this last one didn't have enough to create a hundred, so it, you know it gets down to that. But you'll see that it's all split out. And so if you were to go ahead and create your shaker pages, then you'd be able to take advantage of those short codes, and you don't have to spend uh, all the time kind of manually copying and pasting them over. You can already be created there. And if you're building it out in stages, um, you know this is a great way to see. Uh, you know, to kind of set up the whole project at first, and then as you come back and you're adding more and more uh, shaker pages to it, then you just kind of pick the next one available. But hopefully those two updates make your life a little bit easier. Uh, I know that the, the next and previous was something that people wanted for a while, and it's going to facilitate the interlinking, make it a little bit stronger. So I hope you enjoy those.